Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Adventures of the Immortal Sad Dad Ethan Winners. All we have left to do is to go after Miranda, and unless she has like a whole level in front of her, I think this is it. This is going to be the finale of Resident Evil Village. I'm quite excited to see what kind of note this is going to end on. I want to see the fairy tale from the beginning tied back in. I mean, the point of it in the beginning was straightforward foreshadowing, so uh, it's not like this dangling thread, but there's a good opportunity to play with that, to reframe it, or to do something cool with it. This is a really interesting musical choice. I gotta keep going. Ah, oh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. to me now you will see once i kill you properly everything get her now let go i've spent a lifetime creating this moment and you try to take it away from me i will take what is due will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? Ooh, this is really stirring. You the music is... Oh, terrific. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Please do not worry, the little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with food. Oh, this is so much more melancholic and... Uh, it's so much more melancholic and, like, mournful than I would usually expect from, like, uh, from final boss music like this. I love her design as well. Why? You understand the love of parent or child? How can you deny me? Why the oh. hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? This I is kind of interesting. Spider form Miranda? I'm wondering how many more forms we have. Uh. Oh. Resident I've Evil Village has had some. Resident Evil Village has had some really great monster designs, um, especially the bosses. But there is something. Uh, 
there is something that I've been forgetting to bring up about that. Uh, the director of 2013's uh, Frankenstein's Army accused Capcom uh, a few months ago of plagiarizing one of his monster designs to use for sh for uh, Sturm. After all, everyone dies. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, having having seen the comparison shot, they are pretty identical. But I guess to play Devil's Advocate, they look identical partly because they're both largely a plane propeller on legs. Um, I could... Her animations are so fluid. Like, it, it's really a great looking boss from this, like, it, it just from the effect standpoint. Hold still. She's very much like, like water or ink. <laughs> and then they mask some of the transitions with the feathers and the goo as well. It's pretty good. After all, um, everyone dies. I was saying, uh, yeah, I could see two people independently coming up with that design, uh, but I also haven't actually seen... I haven't actually... Damn it, Miranda? I haven't actually seen Capcom respond or heard anything about Sturm's designer commenting, which looks really... Oh, we have a Murgo's wet nurse phase? Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, this doesn't look that bad. The hell I will! Die, 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 die. <laughs> I will take my daughter! Zethan got a reminder. She's not hers again. They're laying it on really thick. Both her dialogue and the music. I assume that's a weak point. Like, that damage counts more, so... It's worth taking a couple of block hits. Okay, good. Sure, you have no need to us now. So close to death. Uh, she's my s goddamn daughter. You psycho. Yeah, he said the thing. <laughs> Not the psycho thing. My daughter. Miranda. Oh, we still got grenades left to work with. And of course, we cannot forget the MVP who's currently resting on the bench, waiting to carry us Here across the finish line, Knight. There's nothing. When the hour is most desperate, <laughs> when all hope seems lost, Knight B will be there for us. For now, we're gonna have to hope the B team can hold this together. Knifey's just building up his power. He's building up the spirit. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it wasn't fully formed yet. They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. I will not let him or anyone else take Rose or my dog. So this fight isn't that hard, but it does seem to be long, which, getting towards the end of the game, if you just don't have enough resources by the end, I could see this becoming hard. Oh. 
you won't eat it. That's kind of the, the delicate balance of survival I horror. Or rest. even action horror, really. My wish will come. Impudent! Come on, come on, it's gotta be close. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait, is this it? Yeah, knife once again, MVP. Unfortunately, I I don't think I can throw the knife at her. Oh no! <laughs> so we had to use a gun at the end. We didn't have the option to use a knife. It just wasn't really a thing that we could do, but you know, knifey got us to this point. Yeah, Knifey delivered the final real blow. My daughter! My Ava! Thank God for Knifey. Bros! Ethan, wake up. Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> And you tell yourself. Now oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Take us up now! Wait! Where's Ethan? 
Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go, not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? down. SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. So we're getting our sequel hook in. They're really committing to this whole, no, Ethan's totally dead this time thing. Like I said, I could see his casket going into his cold, cold grave, and I would immediately expect him to pop out of it. Oh my god, Heisenberg really is a horse boy. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Monty! Yes! Be 
They did the thing that I wanted them to do. Cool. Oh, that was really nice. Also, you know the other thing? I was actually kind of bummed that that um, up until now, this game didn't have a main theme that was as creepy and catchy as uh, Go Tell Aunt Rhody from the previous one. That's really nice. I like that. I, I still don't believe Ethan's dead, not for even a single second. Um, I get the feeling that... <laughs> Oh no, Hound Wolf Squad it was hiding from Mia the whole time he was alive, and it's gonna be a dramatic revelation in the middle of RE9 or something. I don't know. Perhaps this is Cope. I don't know. Uh, I did get attached to Ethan towards the end of his journey. Is this the first mainline Resident Evil to end without the whole rocket launcher and uh, ticking clock escape thing? Hmm. I had I had a great time with this. Uh, I was really into it, and I think it ends pretty strong, and it starts pretty decently too. I think if there's any, or uh, not any, but most of the criticism that this game is probably gonna get is is gonna be directed towards the middle. Uh, the art direction was especially stellar here. That really that especially stood out to me towards the later parts of the game. I do have a few things that complicate my mostly positive feelings. Uh, enemy variety is one. The enemies are better than the molded, but it still doesn't feel like enough. I think all the mini bosses and the bosses make it feel more evened out though. Uh, I expressed this a bit in the stronghold, but it felt like there weren't really as many of those... I don't know. Uh, I hate to use the word because it's become so played out, but iconic encounters? Like, there aren't that many. Like, fights I'm gonna remember. In Resident Evil 4, I immediately think of, like, the cabin holdout, the opening village fight, the water room, stuff like that. Ones that are so intricate and carefully, elaborately designed. Um, and there are glimpses of that kind of design in Village, and it does ramp up towards the end, but it's very backloaded. Um, and I know I'm comparing this to Resident Evil 4 a lot, but RE4 is in this game's blood. They set out with the intention of trying to capture the essence of RE4. And I cannot help but to judge it against RE4, which ends up making Village look worse in comparison. Uh, and what I mean by that when I when I say that RE4 makes Village look worse, I mean that Village is not Resident Evil 4, and its best qualities don't actually come from that game. Uh, it does so many things really wonderfully, and, and many of them much better than RE4 itself did. But it does feel a little like it's afraid to be itself. And then everything else kind of feels a little truncated, like it ends just as it's about to really get going, except for the village itself that ties everything together, and I think Heisenberg's area feels perfect to me. And uh, I guess Lady Dimitrescu's castle is also pretty well fleshed out. I like the ideas of all the settings and all the puzzles and stuff, but they're just so bite-sized a lot of the time. And honestly, I, I very often extol the virtues of games that are short and sweet, that do what they need to do and wrap up without wasting a lot of your time. And with that in mind, what I just... Um, and what I just said about this game's identity being tangled up with 4, um, this next statement is going to sound odd, but Resident Evil 4 was on the longer side for a Resident Evil game... Uh, without being bloated, that was the important thing, and I wish Village actually had some more of that meat on it. Uh, particularly for the direction they ultimately took this. When this was being developed, uh, the, develop the developers bleh, gave an interview and said uh, they wanted this to be like a theme park tour through different genres of horror. And it really does feel like that way. It, like that. Um... But I wish it approached the domains less like quick rides, because th that they accomplished what they set out to do for both better and for worse. 
Um, alternatively, I think the entirety of Moreau's section could have been lopped off along with, like, Chris's to expand on the castle and even the factory a little. Um, if the bulk of the game was the village, the factory, the castle, and Beneviento's really sharply paced amazing sequence nestled in the middle to break up the flow, that that would be cool. Moreau's section kind of sucked. That's not the note I want to end on. Uh, like I said, overall, I think this is terrific, and 2021 is turning into a pretty blessed year for horror games. Um, all right, so once Demon's Souls and Okami both end, we are going to start up another horror game, but not one from this year. Uh, I'm going to leave that for a second, because we probably have a stinger. boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a human. I think it does. <laughs> but Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. The father story is now done. Oh, I can't wait to play as Rose in the next game. Or, I guess, maybe a spinoff. Like, a Revelations 3. Okay, so, uh, to finish off what I was saying, Amnesia Rebirth is going to be next. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please appease this wretched algorithm by subscribing, giving this a thumbs up, leaving a comment, ringing the bell, doing whatever new bullshit YouTube decides to come up with. Uh, also, if you would like and you're in a comfortable place to do so, you can find a link to my Patreon, patreon.com slash scribe, in the description. Most importantly, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.